My family is super proud of me. I can tell just by the support that they give me. They're always encouraging, always watching the games, whether that's at 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. So yes, they are super proud. I started playing basketball when I was like 10 or nine. With my brothers, I have two brothers, so they got me into playing basketball. I think a lot of my best memories come from college just because that environment was different. The atmosphere in the university is crazy. It's super supportive. We got a lot of fans. We got a lot of students that come to the game to support us. So it's super fun just to play at home and play in front of the fans who are cheering loud and, and supporting you a lot. The most rememberable thing at Planet University is just playing with the girls. Um, the relationships that I developed in college are probably lifelong relationships. So I appreciate getting to know those people and having those friends. You know, she was really aggressive. You could tell that she was someone who knew the game a lot, especially being a point guard, that's that's your job. You gotta know the game, you gotta have great IQ. And, you know, she really reads the floor well. And so I knew that, you know, we were gonna be a great duo. And so through the friendship of basketball and then also just, you know, inviting her into my home, um, you know, for meals and stuff, that's how we got really close. I think my memories in college are probably the best, whether it was close games, playing at other gyms where it's sold out, game winners. I actually got a chance to shoot a game winner one time, so I think things like that are probably the best memories for me. Um, when I was younger, I never really thought about like the WNBA or uh, overseas basketball until I got to college. When I got to college, I started to figure out, okay, maybe I can play overseas, not in America. I wanted to be a professional player because I worked so hard at it. The WNBA draft was a moment I was waiting for for quite a bit, just maybe like two years um, at the end of my college career is when I started to realize that, okay, maybe I can play in the WNBA. So I started to believe in myself and a little bit more in that way. So I was waiting, it was nerve wracking. I think it did kind of impact my last year in college just because I was thinking about it so much. She grew to a very uh, small young lady. I think UCLA showed her a lot a lot of responsibilities, and I think she just grew by going to UCLA. What do you think Dean has meant to this? Program? During the WNBA Dean draft, so when I heard my name, it felt good. I got to be with my family. We had like a little watch party, so I got to be around my family, eat food, and and enjoy that moment with them. So I'm just super grateful that I got to get that opportunity. Yeah, we was very proud. We was excited that night she got drafted, and like we was just very supportive. We kept encouraging her you know, to follow her dreams. Um, and I was just super excited for her because I knew she wanted to get drafted. I knew she wanted to play in the W. So I was just really excited and happy and proud of her. My first professional career was in Russia. That was super hard. It was super cold. I think that's kind of a hard place to play your first year out of college. It's always been kind of a struggle, like not being on a great team or losing. So it hasn't been very many great memories. Yes, that was very hard to see her go overseas and play because she was so far away from us. And if anything happened, we couldn't get there like the next day. But we just prayed and just supported her to, you know, to follow her dreams and want to make sure she'd be careful. At the time, Russia was pretty good just because of those big teams they had um, back then. but. I think right now the French League is the most competitive league I've played in. I was recently playing in France and I was at home, so I was waiting on another team. Xavier called me just to tell me about the team and, and expectations, and I told him kind of what I wanted and expectations, and that's what made me decide to come to Toulouse. And I'm super competitive, so I like to win. So I thought it was a good opportunity for me to come here and, and get back on track with my career and, and try to you know, do something special. But it's definitely motivating knowing that I've never actually won a championship, and that's another reason why I, I came to Toulouse, because I knew it was an opportunity for me to win my first championship. I think she's a different player today. She's definitely developed uh, her skill set. She thinks the game and she gets her teammates involved and then when she sees fit then she'll try and score but 
she's definitely developed her game. I think she's a different player than she is now. She's more, more mature. Um, I do think it's hard to come to a team in the middle of a season um, just because their relationships have already been developed. I got to come and I got to try to, you know, connect with different people. I got to learn the plays and then I'm the point guard, so I really got to know the plays. I do think I'm playing an important role on the team just because I'm a new player, incoming player, and the position I play. So I'm a point guard playmaker, so it kind of puts me in a role, a leadership role, where I have to kind of lead the team because I'm the one out there calling the plays, leading the team, listening to what Xavier has to say. So I think it does put me in a position where I have to lead and bring more energy to the team. It felt good playing at home because I felt welcomed by the fans. Getting to go to VIP and chat with the people in VIP um, and then going around the arena to clap everybody's hands, to sign autograph for the little girls. I think it's been very welcoming um, being at Toulouse and playing at home at Toulouse. My mom and my dad are pretty knowledgeable with basketball, so they both kind of helped me out and supported my journey. My mom is more not like on-court things, more like my attitude or, you know, being coachable, um, being a good teammate, things like that. So my mom is not super like into like the skill part of basketball, just like enjoying it, having fun um, and trying to be the best at it. I'm just the mom there to support her and encourage her and because she's very hard on herself if she don't have a good game. So I just, I'm the one that's there supporting, like everything's going to be okay, move on to the next game. I have a lot of people who follow me. Previous people I've played with overseas, my fam, my parents watch every game, my aunt, my uncle, my cousins, like there's a lot of people who watch our games. After every game, my mom and my dad, I talk to them on FaceTime um, and we just talk about the game. So sometimes it's some good things or sometimes she tells me some things I should work on. I don't know what my future looks like from this point forward. I think I know more towards the end of the season, whether we're competing for a championship, that will determine a lot. I hope that we are. It was a dream for me to become a basketball player. I've been playing for so long and I just want to succeed at the highest level.